Hello and welcome back to SV Plot Maintenance. The today's topic is maintenance activities for object parts. So basically what the, uh, we have an option in the system that once we are doing maintenance on an activity or equipment, we can also do the maintenance or checking of its parts. So it is, uh, this is done by what we call it uh, maintenance activity for object parts by a catalog. So we need a, we create a catalog of the parts and then we say what activities we will do and what can be the results and what to do in uh, maybe if we have this, this result or we have a that result. So the first part of this one or the first time will be to we need to have an equipment. So I already have an equipment called a fan. So in terms of like fan we can have for different parts of fan say like a shaft or a bearing and a motor, so we, that's what we're going to use. So the first step is we need to create some sort of a catalog. So first catalogs, we have, we are going to create a number of catalogs. So the first catalog is going to be object parts, the parts of the equipment. And these are all configuration activities, but we can have a transaction code to use them. And these are all sitting in under QM. So the transaction code we are going to use is QS41. So let's go. QS41. So we are going to create catalogs. So the first catalog we are going to create is B object part. These are the parts of the equipment. So we are going to say which equipment we are going to use and what, what are its parts. So we have taken B. Go into the main screen of this we go and say new entries so our equipment is fan say checking main training fan uh, we will release this one status released press enter uh, select the line item press on codes and then you say new entries. So let's say zero one shaft zero two bearing zero three blades three of five. So that's it. This is what we're going to create. Let's say this one. Yeah, so it's give is giving us a configuration of the transport request because it's a configuration activity. So that's okay. So we have done fan. So once we have done this one, now we need to go back. So this is what I'm giving you the detail of the process. So once we have done, we go back into the catalog and now we're going to say what tasks, what activities can we do. So let's go back. So now we will select our catalog. So the our So this is the number two, which is a task. So in the tasks, again, we go and create new entries. Our group is fine. Same thing, released, press enter, select the line, go to codes, new entries, 0, 01 and 0, 02. So let's say we say to check. Okay, I'm spelling wrong. To check. Uh, to check. To repair if something is. Or the third one you can say, okay. To replace. So that's it. We save this one. So these are our tasks. Again, we have a transport request. So that's okay. So we have done this one. So now the next part is, I mean, we need to make a decision like, what is the situation? Do we, should we, uh, can we repair it? Or we have checked it, so it is okay, or it is not okay. Can we just repair it, or do we have to replace it? Okay, so let's uh, do this one again. And now we have got the catalog. A. So let's pick up the catalog A activities. 
again we go to new entries new entries fan fan released press enter select on quotes new entry zero one so let's say if uh, zero one is checked okay so yes. will be repaired needs replacement so that's what we are going to see so these are our three decisions that we are going to take so we we'll save it again again a transport request so this time so the last part is we have got to create the last catalog which is called coding so the coding is d so in coding again we are going to create a catalog here new entry fan Let's get the short text. Let me have. Select the line. Go to quotes. Do new entry. So what we're going to say here is like. So what we're saying is like. Okay. So the code checked. So now what we have done is we have created four different catalogs. So what we need to do is we need to combine them together in something called a catalog profile. So let's do that. This is also a configuration. So let's go into config by S by SPR. So we go into SPR reference IMG. In reference IMG, we go to the plant maintenance node. So this is plant maintenance. In plant maintenance, we go to maintenance and service processing. Maintenance and service processing. Then we go to maintenance and service notification. Maintenance and service notification. The next node is notification creation. Notification creation. Then we have notification content. Notification content and then define catalog profile. So this is the define catalog profile. So once we are here, what we're going to do is we're going to select them all and put them together. So click on new entries, catalog profile, new entries, fan, fan. Click on catalogs and code groups, new entry. So what we have got is we have got what the first one was A, then we had two, then we had B, then we had D, these were the different codes, and the group was all fan, 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 fan. So what this is all? Okay, now the first one was B. Oh, that doesn't make so much of a difference as long as we got them all together. So I'm just uh, trying to be consistent here. So that's it, and press enter and save it. Again, we have a transport request. So if we go back now, we should be able to see our catalog profile here. It's the fan. So we have a catalog profile here, fan maintenance. So once this is done, so the next step is we go back into our equipment and we change the equipment and put this catalog profile. So I have an equipment already called fan, so I go into IE02 to change the equipment. 
Let's change. We go into organization and there is a field called catalog profile. Let's open this one. In catalog profile, this is our file maintenance. Let's save it. So once we have done this one, the next step will be to create a equipment task list, which is I A01 which basically we want to generate a notification now. So once the notification gets generated as per schedule, then the I mean upon schedule notification will be generated and then it will be picked up by the relevant maintenance person to carry out the maintenance. So the fan, so I will say just four, four which is released. Uh, in the operation, so we say it's in the whole equipment or whatever. Press enter here, put operation. Checking the whole equipment. So let's say it takes one hour, one person, total duration is two hours, percentage hundred. So that's about it and uh, now we can save this one, let me go back and I will just add bit of text here. So let's see. It. So basically good 65. So what we have done is we have now created a equipment task list. So we have created all the required data. So once we have done no next step will be to go go and create a notification and then schedule it. So I will close this session here and I will pick up the remaining in the next session. See you in the next session. Thank you.